everyone, and welcome to Becker Update 46. I'm Mikey Dowling, the PR Manager here at Obsidian. We're just two weeks away from the launch of Deadfire on May 8th, and we're very excited for you to get your hands on the game. Now, the team's been hard at work finalizing Pillars 2, and for this update, when we know it's been a while, we wanted to highlight some of the really cool features that they wanted to share with you, so enjoy. Spark Crackers. Spark crackers are a wonderful minor explosive that can be used to distract NPCs and monsters, pulling them toward the source of the noise. Though they won't stay at the location for long, the brief distraction may be long enough to sneak by them, or to set up a fireball in the middle of a bunch of explosive barrels, like lead designer Bobby Knoll does here on his solo playthrough. Reverse Pickpocketing Sometimes it's best to start a fight off with a bang. Because we're all such fans of classic Fallout pranks, reverse pickpocketing explosives found its way into Deadfire. Here, area designer John Cotto sneaks up behind an NPC to pickpocket them, plants a bomb in their coin purse, and walks a safe distance away. Naming Ships Although you start out on a humble Deerwodian ship named the Defiant, you have the ability to rename any of your ships as you see fit. Thanks to programmer Robbie Altadero's magic, your ship name will now also appear on the side of your ship as soon as you change it. Charge Charge can be devastating on the battlefield and gives quick mobility to a class that generally spends a lot of time standing in place, as QA tester Andy Arch shows off for us. Yeah. Naming Islands Some of the islands in the Deadfire Archipelago have not been given formal names, even by the local Juana. If you clear an uncharted island of all of its hazardous, monstrous residents like community manager Eric Dorbella does here, You'll be able to name the island and see it reflected on the world map. Voiced Dialogue <laughs> Ikira! What... what a surprise, I say. But no one told me that envoys of Rawatai landed on Tikawawa. Spell Retargeting Don't forget, that target you wanted to cast a spell on move? Retarget and hit them with all you got. NPC Animations the world of Aora comes to life even more thanks to Zack Spurlock's ambient animations. Menagerie. This upgrade to your ship allows you to hang out with all the pets you find in the Deadfire. Broom. Clean up trash mobs with this handy broom. Talking Sword. But my owner, she was really great. I mean, is really great. Her calluses felt so good on my grip. Oh, I can do things with a sword you wouldn't believe. Sea shanties. Big head mode. Because Josh Sawyer loves big head mode. Pillars 2 has plenty of hidden gems like the features that we just showed you, and we cannot wait for you to dive into it when you get to explore the Deadfire Pelago in just two short weeks. Now we have had a lot of announcements since our last update, and we wanted to make sure that we shared some of them with you here. First up, we are doing full VO for every conversation in the game. This is a huge effort, and it makes a world of a difference when you get to hear it in action. Second up, we have our partnership with Critical Role. Now, we're able to bring in these incredibly talented actors to play key characters in Deadfire, and on top of that, give a free DLC that allows you to have Vox Machina voice sets and player portraits so you can create a Vox Machina party on your own. Third, we have the Deadfire Scavenger Hunt. You may have seen some codes pop up here and there, so make sure that you go to the site in the description below so you can redeem those codes and get some awesome loot for Deadfire when it comes out on May 8th. Also, be sure to follow our social media channels and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get all further updates for Deadfire between here and launch. Until next time, Watchers. <laughs>